Same place. We're here at the San Benito County Sheriff's Shooting Range near Hollister, California, where we're going to be comparing lead core bullets and non-lead bullets using a couple different standardized techniques. We're going to be comparing the weight retention, expansion, and penetration by firing them into standard ballistic gelatin. And then we'll also be comparing the weight retention and fragmentation by shooting them into a bullet collection system. Let's go out and take a look. Dead on all the time. You can throw it against the other. Sweet. <laughs> I'm just going to show here what we're going to shoot. Okay, so this uh, shows what we're going to be comparing today. A variety of lead core bullets and then some uh, non-lead designs as well. Uh, we have the Nosler partition and that's a 180-30-06. We have the Remington core lock, which is a soft point bullet, 180 grain as well. Uh, Winchester power point, 150 grain bullet. And then with the non-lead variety, we have the Barnes triple shock, which is loaded by Federal. The Nosler E-tip, which is loaded by Winchester, which is a polymer tip bullet. And then the Hornady GMX, which is a polymer tip bullet. Okay, range is hot. Is that 180 grain? That's 180 grain, yep. Looks like it hit, huh? Yeah, it did. Should we go take a look? Okay, sure. Might as well. Nice and close to the bottom too, so you can see it pretty good. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's expanded. Which part? Point to it. I don't care. Yeah, so it blew out a bunch of fat right there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like. About the thickness, maybe consistency of ballistic gel. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty close to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bright and shiny, and when we weigh it, it'll probably will still have 98% of its mass. What they normally do. Let me get a close up. You're just gonna dump the whole the whole shebang? Yep. And we'll dry this out and then weigh it up.
your finger in there, number it, and then pull it out. Contact us at the email addresses or phone numbers which follow at the end of the video. Thank you for watching.